Hi guys, Helly Appleween here. So today we're gonna open another Keyforge deck, fresh out of the package. So let's see what we have today. All right, here we go. You all ready for this? Oh, here it comes. And it's a Sanctum Mars Robnar deck, wow. Hmm, interesting. So the name is Thirsty Ethan of the Castle. That's a nice blue background, looks very nice. All right, let's try and uh, get that open here. Uh, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Right, we're gonna remove the last card with all of the, the deck contents. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, here we go. So, First, we'll starting with Sanctum. So we've got this upgrade card, Shoulder Armor, gives you one Amber, and it says while this creature is on a flank, it gets plus two armor and plus two power. With this cool flavor text, I can't see anything, do I look cool? So, okay, That's, that can be interesting. A Sergeant Zekiel, so a four power, one armor creature, human knight, you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature on a play. So that's good. Then we've got a Protectrix. You may fully heal a creature if you do. That creature cannot be dealt damage for the remainder of the turn. Also quite nice. Ooh, a Frankus. So that's a nice one. Uh, so a six power, one armor creature. And it says after an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Frankus, Frankus captures one Amber. I also really like the the design of this card, really nice. Well, the artwork, I mean. All right. Ooh, and another Frankus. Okay, so there's, that's already quite some uh, Sanctum creatures. So that's another Frankus. Okay, and that's it, so. Okay. We've got a Hello Blaster. So an artifact with an action, heal three damage for a creature. Okay, that's fine. Another Hello Blaster. Okay, wow. <laughs> Too many artifacts. Ooh, another artifact. Gorm of Om. It's an Omni ability. Sacrifice Gorm of Om. Destroy an artifact. Okay. So it's a one time use. It's like um, Whispering Reliquary, another artifact, I think also from Sanctum, but that's reusable. But then you uh, put it back in your opponent's hand here. You effectively destroy the artifact. So the flavor text an object, no matter how sacred, is just a thing. Hm. Kind of true. So there we go for our first action. Play, destroy each creature with power three or higher. It's quite a powerful effect. We also have a take hostages. It gives us an amber. Play for the remainder of the turn. Each time a friendly creature fights, it captures one. So actually in combination with Frankus, uh, when it destroys something, it ca you capture one. So if you also combine it with take hostages, you can capture capture a lot of amber actually all right then um, we have a glorious few play for each creature upon controls in excess of you gain one amber okay binding light is a lot of um, a lot of uh, actions already binding light so choose a house then each creature of that house also gives you an amber Okay, so that was everything for Sanctum. So now let's have a look at that. So we've got four actions, we've got four creatures, three uh, artifacts, and then we have one upgrade. So I don't know if that's really good. I like these creatures. I mean, it's a, um, a Sergeant Zekiel, a Protectrix, and two Frankuses. But I think for Sanctum, you would like to have, you would like to have more. Uh, creatures than this. I mean, Sanctum is all about board control, and I don't know if this will live up to it, but we'll, we will see. We'll have a play test of that. So, the Spirit's Way, Take Hostages, Glorious View, Bl Blinding Light, these are all great cards. Not that much direct amber, only three in this house with the shoulder armor. And the artifacts are, well, Gorm of Alm is okay, but two Hello Blasters, I don't know if that's so good I mean that's a lot of a lot of uh, artifacts we'll see uh, how the other houses work out so let's put that to the side and then 
we have our Mars cards. All right. So we start out with another upgrade. It gives us one armor called Red Planet Ray Gun. This creature gains Reap. Choose a creature. Deal one damage to that creature for each Mars creature in play. Look at that awesome Red Planet Ray Gun here. So uh, that, that's an okay upgrade. Okay, we've got a Vesema Thing Drone. So you may archive a friendly creature or artifact from play when you reap. That's a nice run-of-the-mill Mars card, could be useful. We've got two Vesema Thing Drones, all right. Then we've got an Ulic Megamouth. Fight or reap, use a friendly non-Mars creature. Okay. Ooh, a Quick Slicks, a Kick Slicks Plague Master. Fight or reap, three, deal three damage to each human creature. This damage cannot be prevented by armor. So that's actually a bummer to have this card in, in, in this deck um, with respect to the Sanctum creatures because the Sanctum creatures are human creatures. So if you fight or reap with this guy, you will damage your own creatures. So I, I don't know how to feel about this, but I don't really like having a plague master uh, in a deck with uh, with sanctum creatures right okay so that was it for uh, the creatures so again a little bit light on the creature side especially for mars who wants some more creatures i think and now here we have our first action phosphorus stars stun each non-mars creature gain two chains so that can be quite powerful but gaining two chains for stunning each non-Mars creature, it can be dangerous. I mean, we'll see. Now we have an orbital bombardment, so it also gives us one amber. And if you play it, you reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand. And for each card revealed this way, you can deal two damage to a creature, but you can choose a different creature each time. So that's a good card. That's a nice card. Um, we also have a Mothership support, also gives us an Amber. And for each friendly Ready Mars creature, that's important, deal through damage to a creature. So we need Ready Mars creatures. But not a command. For each friendly Mars creature, so this time it's only a Mars creature, not a Ready Mars creature, you can choose an enemy creature to capture one Amber from their own side. That's a nice card. Then we have a deep probe, choose a house, reveal your opponent's hand, discard each creature of that house revealed this way. So if you can make some, some good choices here, you can do some really nasty stuff with that. I, I once had a hand with um, like, I think four or five creatures from one house and my opponent called the house. So that's really painful, I can really mess up your opponent's plans. Then we also have a battle fleet, so this one is quite nice. The graphics, the artwork is also really nice. So it gives you an armor, play, reveal any number of Mars cards from your hand. For each card revealed this way, you can draw a card. So that's nice. And we have two of those. So uh, the Mars house in this deck is really action heavy, right? We've got two, four, six, seven action cards and only four creatures. I don't know um, how this will play out. We'll, we will have to test it out and see how it works. But regularly or, or typically, I like to have more creatures um, in a Mars deck. But we'll see. I mean, this battle fleet is quite kind of nice. Um, let's have a look how many direct amber that we have. We've got one from the upgrade, two, three, four five six six direct amber in um mars house so that's already quite nice let's put these cards on the side we'll have a look at them later and then our final house brobnar so let's see what we've got there so we start off immediately with uh, one of the common run-of-the-mill brobnar creatures a troll, an eight power creature with a reap effect, troll heals three damage. And the awesome flavor text, don't feed it, feed it, it'll go away. All right, so we've got a troll, a grenade snip. I don't remember, or I, I can't remember if I have this card already in one of my decks. So I kind of like it. It's like a reverse, um, a reverse dust imp for this, right? And the dust imp gives you two amber if it's destroyed. This one will make your opponent lose two. So, well, net and and it will net the same effect, right? 
So that's a grenade snap. Now we've got a ganger chieftain. Play you may ready and fight with a neighboring creature. That's nice. We've got a fire spitter, five armor, uh, five power, one armor. Before a fight, deal one damage to each enemy creature. Guess how he got that name? Funny. An earth shaker. So destroy each creature with power three or lower. That's quite a good card. Um, but we already have a Spirits Away in Sanctum, which also des destroys each creature with power 3 or higher. So there's a little bit of a redundant effect here, but okay. Then we've got a Bumpsy. Your opponent loses 1 when it's played. Really nice card. Another Bumpsy. I don't mind that. I like it. And then this one. I've never seen this card before. 5 power Bilgum Avalanche creature. After you forge a key, deal 2 damage to each enemy creature. Wow, that's kind of nice. I've never seen that. Really fits into the theme of, uh, of Brawbner. It's really nice artwork. Look at that. It's like it's like some kind of woman with, a, with an axe. And the axe has fire coming out of the back here. Nice. And the flavor text is, some call her war leader. Some call her demon. I just call her avalanche dodger. <laughs> nice all right so quite uh, creature heavy um, then we have our first action here it gains us one amber but we gain two amber if you control more creatures than your opponent which I think will be easy with uh, all of these Brotnar creatures now we are low on creatures in the other houses but um, the Brotnar part makes up for it okay we've got two smiths that's nice I will gain us some amber then we've got a punch Play, deal 3 damage to a creature, nice card, and then our final card, another punch. So I think that's that's okay, I mean, we've got 4 direct Amber on our actions in Brobnar, and the possibility to get 2 more and 2 more, right? So that could be 8 Amber just with these actions alone, if we fulfill this condition. And a lot of creatures. No artifacts in Brobnar. I think that's nice. I think I don't mind the Brodner side. I think it's okay. I think what it misses is maybe a war drummer to repeatedly um, use Bumpsy. But we also have a grenade snip, so that's okay. Not that much ways to deal with uh, Amber of the opponent, Amber control. We don't have a lot of ways to steal anything. We've got a hypnotic command which will allow us to capture from the opponent's side. That's okay. But that's actually everything we have regarding stealing or capturing. Oh yeah, we of course we also have Frankus together with um, take hostages, right? So we can capture some stuff, but we have no way of stealing or um, effects like bait and switch or whatever, or like um, a burn the stockpile and Brobner. So I think this deck will, will have a hard time winning, I think. But I'm gonna try it out on the Crucible and uh, I will let you guys know if it works out. All right, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.